Hello everyone, this is Grayshot117 here bringing you a company for us to replay that I think you're going to enjoy. I think this will be number 50 and I'm pretty much going to entitle this Learn to Play. So we have two Soviet players here and Tank Killer and my brother. So 2v2, Tross Point. It's a, I like this map, it's an interesting map. My brother is OKW as you can see and Tank Killer is the Vermok. Now... The reason why I am picking this replay is because I actually watched some of it live. And you may be saying like, oh, why didn't you uh, record it? Well, I'm not playing it and it was off uh, Steam Broadcast. But, oh boy. Let's see, Kenji and Wafaru. How do I put this in the nicest way possible? These two, by far, are like these quote-unquote stereotype... Company for those two players that you never, ever want to face, but you always hear about. And we'll see why very shortly. Anyway, we can see here my brother, he's pushing on the left. And Oh, by the way, there will be a period of time which I fast forward, but you'll understand why when we get to that. But anyway, my brother is trying to capture this point because again, you have a star here, the fuel, and then in the midpoint here, the, you have a star. This bridge is indestructible, but the bridge here and the bridge over here are destructible. Um, bridges got a boost in health and defense with the, I guess, patch that brought the British, but you can still destroy it. And hitting one of those two junction, uh, junction points is very key at delaying the enemy's advance over the river. Now, there are two points over here. As you can see, both are indestructible along with over here. So honestly, this is the only way you can really delay the enemy. And even blocking one of these isn't crucial. It's helpful, but not crucial. Anyway, as you can might see here, my brother is just trying to move up his Kubel to counter up the conscripts because he wants to keep them uh, farther away. Unfortunately, we, as you can see here, we have a scout car coming into the flank. And I love how big this thing is compared to the little Kubel. And this thing's uh, pretty much machine gun is going to tear the Kubel apart. Although the Kubel's trying to get away from the cemetery, you can see here all the heavy cover is causing an issue, and he's going to lose it. Luckily, my brother's stern pioneers are opening fire on the scout car. As you can see here, it's doing actually quite a bit of damage. The problem is, though, the conscripts are now focusing on him, and my brother has to retreat. So that was a devastating loss for my brother. TK was, in the meantime, capturing this point, trying to do a left hook up that way. As you can see here, he's putting an NG down to make sure, of course, he don't come at him I if he advances with that scout car he's really stupid oh fuel point okay the problem is on this side you can see here there's fuel and a uh, guarded here by high walls can't you need a vehicle to break through them similar to like over here you need a vehicle to break through this but this also is the fuel point so you'll see a lot of people typically camp the cemetery which is funny because you know they will die and well, they don't have to go very far to be buried. But th the point I find funny is the fact, like, again, people camp this area um, in an effort. But then, of course, you'll see mortar. You'll literally see, like, a mortar, like, right here. And the enemy will be, like, right here. And we'll either chuck a grenade over or they'll let the mortar just start pounding them. Um, yeah. You can see here, though, that they're, they are having difficulties. Um, yeah. So this is the reason why, I guess, first off. Uh, this guy's spamming a lot of conscripts. I know this is like a quote-unquote tactic, but I still consider this a spam when you have five of the same unit. Uh, because again, you're in a sp and you kind of like concentrating them. I'm not saying that's a bad strategy, not by far, but I'm saying that, well, eh. It, it, it's a bit of a spam. My brother's trying to move up the Sturm Pioneers and the Volks, because again, Sturm Pioneers and Volk Squads can usually beat conscripts pretty easily. Stern Pioneers especially with their close range. You can see here that he tried to focus all of them together through a Malta, I had Malta of <laughs> incendiary grenade on that path, which is actually really smart because when the enemy retreats, they're going to cut through here. That could cause extra damage on the retreat. For Ken Werfer, running away, dodging that fire expertly. And as you can see, he ran to a little bit more damage. He's going to, I guess, try to capture this point I, and get behind that heavy cover. Maybe that'll work. Uh, because the Volk squad, the Grey Deers, the Volk's trying to get, I guess, trying to get close, but as you can see here, taking a lot of damage, he's going to have to retreat. 
Grand Deer is still firing, and Grand Deers have the height advantage as well behind heavy cover, so I do believe they would win until this guy runs in, probably going to throw a Wildlife Cocktail. This guy moved up, but I believe he got hit by a Panzerfaust? But I'm not entirely sure. This building came down, not sure why. Maybe it burned down, but there's no flame, so I don't know. Nice incendiary grenade causing a lot of damage, you can see here. Just burning. <laughs> And my brother is coming back up. You can see the effectiveness of this, though, is I want to get the main point. Just a very, it's very effective because, again, they're very, um, the conscripts have a lot of different things. They have Molotovs and they have AT gun, uh, grenades. So that makes them very efficient versing multiple targets, which is why people would spam them because it's like you're good against vehicles, you go against people in buildings, you're good against, um, mass, just like frontline troops. So it's good against a lot of good things. The problem is it's not great at anything. Which is the problem. Scout car moving up. Uh, the scout car with the flamethrower attachment. Burning up those poor grand ears. And there goes tank killer's men. That being said, Panzerfaust. Once again causing massive amount of damage to that scout car. Not killing it. Actually just giving it a second star. Which, citing weapon accuracy. Very interesting. You, you rarely see a scout car get one star. Let alone two. Just simply because of the fact that, well, most people get them murdered. Very smart attack the game in the building and then getting them out. Try to get them on this side to kill the mortar. Um, we get to hear that, though, that my brother and TK are pretty much losing. I think that's a fair assessment to say that they are losing. They have barely any ground. They have no fuel. And they're allowing the allies to get both. 36 fuel per turn for the allies is huge. That's a lot of fuel going to allies. Compared to 14. Now, remember, this 14 is also. The, the axes just get very few anyway. So the fact they're just getting this is pretty bad. Yeah. Anyway, you can see here Kenji's con doing another conscript assault move. Uh, or has another one moving in. While well, this other guy is holding this, I guess, right flank. I'm really surprised he's not using that fuel, although he could be saving up for something. Um, I don't know what. But if I had to guess, I think this guy goes guard's rifle, I believe. So he may be trying to save up and then rapidly produce guard troops, but I'm not entirely sure. So you can see here conscript, a lot of conscripts got swarming through this area, and just being flanked, they can't really fight that, so they have to fall back. That was a terrible incendiary grenade. I, d I guess he was trying to hit, uh, my brother was trying to hit him while he was walking, but... Yeah, just not going well. And there's five versus one. Just get out of there. There's their way you're gonna win. Throw a Molotov cocktail into that building. Grand Ears are slowly gonna burn. Um, and once again, TK and them are falling back. And okay, so this is a strategy he's going. You can see here he got the Dushka. Dushka is great because you can see here automatic armor piercing rounds. I love this. Um, it's a really, really. It's probably the best Soviet MG in my personal opinion. Anyway, it looks like the counter, my brother, went medical. Wow, put it right next to his base. Uh, that, I mean, that's smart. If you can't make headway, at least use this ability to heal troops. Because, again, the medics will heal your guys. So that's a positive. He also has a mechanized thing going up. Very lucky the conscripts didn't move up. But as you can see here, they only really... Ha they don't have that many points. They're taking one on the right. But, yeah, they need that fuel. But the conscripts are just heavily entrenched i'm actually really surprised this guy is placing mines because i could see like a demo charge right here with a mine with it that way he doesn't need sight boom as the enemy troops come through like this boom my brother would probably have quit by if that happened but you know i'm just saying that's a tactic you see here of course the dushka tearing up that grand Deer squad again just a really really good mg the problem is again it has that arc it isn't really necessarily all that great but it's at least slightly better than normal mg and again just the firepower on this thing is way better support gun moving in nice hit once again one two three four five six conscripts you have enough conscripts anyways you can see here my brother try is countering with support guns which i know i know i know this is still before the patch and people may say oh my god support guns are op but but honestly if you really want to, you just move up your troops. And you can counter. Oh, wait. No, this is here. Well, maybe if you had an AT gun. Oh, no, you're getting your 7th conscript squad? Okay, well, maybe there's an issue. 
And as we can see here, oh wow, yeah. So this guy, once again, got a lot of conscripts and then upgraded. Oh, well, I'm sorry. He went tank hunters. Oh, okay, that's cool. I thought he went something else. But yeah, tank hunters with conscripts. This is great because, again, it makes the conscripts ability go from good to great when dealing with vehicles. These PTRSs are fantastic. Also, they get these anti-tank grenades, which, once again, are great for just taking out a larger vehicle. So it's like a King Tiger. Have all your guys throw those grenades and they do a ton of damage. Um, more conscripts, some leaving, some coming, whatever. Oh, by the way, this replay is like a couple hours after I play Life is Strange. So I'm kind of like mellow from that. It's funny because I was I was literally going in there expecting the worst. Like, in I cr I'm going to be honest. I don't care what you guys think. I really don't. I cried during The Walking Dead at the end with Clementine. So I was fully expect expecting by how Life is Strange was progressing that I was going to like, again, tear at the end. Nice uh, support gun hit. But that did not happen. It, I just like, it was like a nuke went off in my head. I didn't cry, I didn't, I wasn't mad, I wasn't happy. It's like, I was just content. And I, in my personal opinion, if a game leaves you content, A+. plus. You don't necessarily need to be happy for the characters because I think of Last of Us, and if anyone's ever played Last of Us, you, you know that game is not exactly uh, rainbows and puppies and smiley faces it, it's it, it's not gonna leave you most likely in a happy but it leaves you content uh with a good story probably should retreat that all right that is not content that is definitely not content but yeah i'm kind of in that mood i highly recommend life is strange if you've not played it um highly recommend it if you don't care for it you can check it all on my channel uh unfortunately my audio for my voice is a little low i'm still with the obs i guess with console games still getting the hang of it halo 5 i'll be doing next week but anyway, yeah, nice game closing the gap with the Stern Pioneers. Stern Pioneers are wreck conscripts. I also find he has this thing over here and he's just putting men in it. It's like, yeah, let's put all the men in possible. That way we can just literally just open fire. I think he's right now surprised he can't put more in for Pete's sakes. Also, there's not, there's two squads in there, but I don't see two squads. So I don't believe it. Could be a glitch. I don't think that's a glitch. Whatever. A T gun, MG, nice defense. Slowly but surely gaining over this left side. So good for my brother for actually countering the conscript blob. Although to be fair, this guy has a lot of conscripts. At least on positive note, a lot of heavy players don't do this, but you definitely want to if you the infant uh infirmary. That way you get your conscripts back to the full health and that allows them to get, you know. Uh, make sure that they continually get two to three stars, which is really, really good. Oh, by the way, speaking of, like, off-topic things while this is going on, there's really not that much fighting while wow, this guy's just setting it out. I mean, I can see him putting the MG there, but setting it out like that, it could easily be flanked. Easily flanked. All right. Now my brother may be... Wow, that was a terrible flank. Oh, so close to hitting a mine. That would have been epic. Anyway... So, yeah, my brother may be spamming support guns, but I don't blame him. It, when this thing gets patched, it won't, th this won't be, this won't be a thing. Because you, it won't suppress infantry. But I still say, like, okay, they have a lot of that. I mean, he doesn't necessarily have an arty ability? Hmm. I mean, maybe Oval Sedan would be good, just instead of this, get two Oval Sedan squads, and that could help counter. But, I mean, or, uh, as OKW, how do you fight this? And oh, if you say Stuka, I love Stuka and I agree with you, but he did not pick it. So. Anyway, the... God, goddamn Company of Soviets. Moving through this way. Would that be a platoon? I actually think that would be more of a platoon. Definitely not Company. Anyway, a group of Soviet players are moving through and it looks like they're cutting through. This is what I mean. It's like support guns are great long range, but of course short range they are terrible. So having them of course close the gap, they can easily mow down all these guys. Wow, that support gun hit is a little BS. I'll give them that. That one hit was BS. <laughs> Although I've had games where it's like I try to fire one and it never suppresses ever. So the RNG gods were in their favor. 
Something also I find interesting is the fact that both guys are spamming conscripts. We can see here this guy's also spamming conscripts and he's not really advancing. I would really want, like if he wants to be effective, just take over this territory. Also, if he really wants to be effective, yeah, screw that. Is that why he had it? I mean, no, you can still get the... Yeah, I don't know. I'm very confused. Because if he would have had that... No, he built it. Because if he would have... I, I was thinking maybe he built this and it got decrewed. And then get, got to him, but no. Just no. Yeah, this guy's just spamming conscripts. I mean, look at that. I, again, the ultimate thing that you'd never want to see in Company Heroes 2. The giant blob of infantry. This is an actual blob. Like, in my mind, this is a blob. This is truly a blob in Company Heroes 2. So for those who say, oh my god, I'm fighting a blob. Unless you're fighting something like this, I don't see a blob. I really don't. Even though I may classify things as three or more as blobs, this is actually a blob. And if he used it correctly and dodged Stuka fire and stuff like that, that would be a smart blob. But this blob over here is moving in over to the right, and the second blob, they're coordinated, they have to be. They're both moving at the same time. <laughs> anyway, all their troops are moving in. Most likely they're going to counter this way and have Wafru come through this way and then of course the other guy Kenji coming through the other that way of course the pork guns can't really hurt him uh I do like the placement of this MG I don't like the fact this building's probably gonna obscure a lot of it oh my god but it's just gonna run through oh wow they're somehow suppressed also I'm really surprised that this guy doesn't allow the a, a component to it he has enough munitions just get the guys out have it that could really shred these guys or just come over here and shred them well, whatever. Conscripts moving through. On the left side, we have a giant blob. Looks like my brother tried... Oh, Molotov cocktails were thrown over the side to clear. More conscripts coming in through this way. Looks like that uh, half-track died. More conscripts coming through. Literally, that support gun is the only thing saving him at this rate. I also find it funny that, again, both got... Oh, my God. Yes, run him over. Nice job. <laughs> Good job, TK, with the running over infantry. But I think that's the first actual tank. Yeah. Now, I know a lot of people say, it's like, oh my god, um, there are some tactics in which you save up for this. So, like, the best way I can describe it is you save up for um, an easy gate or something or T-3045s and spam them. I, I understand that, but y you still figure you could have, you definitely had the fuel advantage. So if you would have gotten that armor, you could have easily pushed here and probably killed this. Like a T-34, yeah, sure, maybe it could have killed it, but you could have caused havoc all along here. Destroy these walls, allow for infantry to come through, it would have definitely been better, but, you know, whatever. Also, you're not capping this territory, is another thing. I know... I mean, you guys are decently ranked players, so you've played your fair share of Company Heroes 2. The fact you don't know that is very surprising. Two-star support gun, very, very good. Wait, hold on. An ability to avoid incoming fire. Sure, why not? Once again, we have another half-track moving in. I really am curious what this guy's strategy is, because this isn't working. Maybe, of course, with the AA component, that could be very effective. But as it stands, the conscript blob, you're, it's, it's a Soviet meat grinder. That's what it is. <laughs> this is honestly this, uh, like a true interpretation of the so versing Soviet forces. All you need is a bunch of T-34 swarming down your neck. But yeah, you're not capturing this territory. You're not capturing this territory. I mean, to be fair, I mean... Let's be honest, that's actually helping because my brother's... No, they're still decreasing points because, again, this area is not being captured. Once again, nice flame trying to make sure if they retreat, they cause extra damage. But, again, they're not retreating. They're doing pretty good for themselves. Mm. Get in, I cap point. 
My brother has a five star unit in the cap point. Oh, okay, my brother's trying to get more front lane infantry. Good, 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 good. My brother's also at all three points. I'm assuming he's getting a King Tiger. I'm assuming that. And I, I can concur. While I say a Panzer IV might be effective against the infantry, I don't. Perf I, I, I would rather have something else. Simply because of the fact that. Um, King Tiger is very, very effective against infantry. And if they, that's all they're doing, you could literally just have the King Tiger run over or just blast your way through the blob. As long as it's supported, of course. But, I mean, it would probably last longer, especially against these AT grenades, than, let's say, a Panther or, especially against a Panther or a Panther IV. Nice AT shot. Once again, TK, love how, where that thing is. Although, we're about to see an airstrike come in. No, that's an anti-tank airstrike, so it's not exactly designed against infantry. That being said, it still does a bit against infantry. You can't cut it out. I do like how Tank Killer is trying to take mid. Um, so he's pushing. Tank Killer also, we can see here, he went joint operations. I like this doctrine. I know a lot of people have been requesting I show um, some gameplay on it. Oh, nice mine. Very nice mine. Pack 43 firing. Finally gets himself a Sherman. It's the M4C Sherman, so he didn't build anything, and he still has nothing. At least this guy is something. Panzer IV moving up. Typically, a Sherman has the advantage, especially the M4C Sherman, but Panzer IV can typically, um, especially in this weekend, they can beat it. Wow, it's bouncing every shot, though. That's a... That's bad. But, wow, three shots down the drain. There it goes. And there's another M4C Sherman coming around the corner. More infantry swarming through here. Support gun getting some nice hits. Still alive, though. They're still keeping that veterancy. Hmm. Very, very cool. Oh, by the way, so speaking of requested things, I think a few people are requesting I play more mods. Um, if you're wondering why I haven't, it's just because of the fact that, um, I guess right now I don't have a lot of time. And typically for me, a mod, I want to play with other people and other friends, and they don't necessarily have that. I have a few I really want to play. Like, there's a zombie one that got stock development, but hey, it looks cool, and a few others. But, yeah, there's definitely a few mods I'll look at, but just right now, I've just been... I, I just haven't had the time to get enough people together. Nice support gun hit again. They're just suppressing them all here. There was an MG here, which is nice, but unfortunately, I mean, it's suppressing them. I, I like how we went over piercing rounds. Another support gun hit, suppressing all of them. Very, very nice. The problem right now is the fact they don't really have a good counter for the AT. The MG's back up, so that will at least keep suppressing their infantry. But yeah, that, that, that Sherman is something I feel like they're having issues with. Once again, I feel like he has this here just to keep healing his med. Which, I mean, don't get me wrong, if you get the A package, you can't heal it. But, that being said, it looks like TK finally... Oh, there it is. Yep. He went artillery to pretty much break up the Soviets. I mean, look how many bodies there are. All close together. Constantly, constantly being hit by artillery. But that was some nice hits. Um, I definitely like that close range arty. Because again, um, I think TK can actually start sh shelling the base. But, I mean, this is a relatively small map. And artillery can be pretty costly. Because again, if you're the only player, you're essentially losing... I think it's like 14. I assume it's 14. 14, 15, something like that of uh, manpower to go into artillery that may or may not be useful. The great thing about this map is that you know they're going to rush this point. Because they have this point. You have this point. They've been attacking. They've been able to attack it. So most likely they're going to rush here. Still surprised they haven't taken this point. Going to be honest. You could send one conscript squad to go take it. And that would probably help you. Even though you're using it. You also maybe would help. Um, actually, I take it back. You're not even using anything for the... Um, you're not even using fuel. So there's no point for that. But, uh, do, 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 Yeah, very surprising, your tactics. You guys, I mean, it's a lot of conscripts. 
But that being said, we can see here that, again, we have another RD piece being developed. I understand this. So far, they know that the only airstrike possible is that AT strafe. Uh, when AT strafe, the AT bombing run. So it could be effective against this, but since the other guy went in 4C Sherman, they kind of know it's like, okay, you don't have to worry. Wow, we have a giant infantry charge over here. Not as large as before, but still decent. Um... Wow, okay, another charge over here. Didn't see that. Nice AT grenade, I think. Not very effective. This building's now on fire. Why not? Spork guns firing on this area. Brother taking this. Um, yeah. See, I think what the enemy's trying to do is capture this point. And I think they're trying to do it. Oh, nice artillery. Once again, just choke point. Um, I think they're trying to do it to make sure, again... My brother and TK are down to 32 points. If they can reduce TK and them down further, they can win the game. doesn't matter if they're starting to get better at odds or winning more engagements. Um, as long as they can keep holding the enemy back, that's all they need to do. Once again, I really find it strange that this guy has 400 manpower. I'm sorry, 400 fuel, and he's not getting himself a Katusha. He's not getting... I don't know, a T-34, an SU-85. I don't know why we need an SU-85 in this scenario. But maybe an SU-76. Get the artillery building. Um, just very curious. I like how this guy's going armor-piercing rounds to fight this thing. And unfortunately, Luke's did not have help. So my brother's like, all right, Luke's didn't help. Let me get myself a King Tiger. Huh. Nice shot. Knocked out that thing. They still capture this point. That being said, TK does not have a lot of infantry, and to be fair, more artillery is coming through here. Although we can see here, the artillery from his base is actually covering him. I like that. It's like some are coming here, some are coming here. I like how he has this one lone flank or trying to cap it. Oh, that poor thing. Half track got annihilated. Yeah, now they're just holding that point. Honestly, this is kind of you don't need this. You don't need to keep the units there. You can move them. All you need is one here and have the rest like firing back here behind the building, behind the cover of the buildings. That being said, TK does have a three star mortar. And not that many frontline troops. They have 10 points. So now it's my brother using what little he has of his own infantry to, to decap this point. Um, yeah, so we can see here again the enemy is just trying to. Well, in this case, fall back. Yeah, Wafru. Got a lot of losses. Once again, still not capturing this point, and Kenji took some serious losses. Most likely the artillery coming in through the sector. Spamming that M4, uh, spamming the M4C Sherman. I do like how this Sherman was able to uh, get out of there in one piece. Usually they would die. Also, friendly fire on artillery, but I think he's more determined to capture the point because they have seven points left. Mm. Yeah, honestly, I think, I think this guy, I mean, I, I, I can see why he went this, because he's like, okay, I'll get the Dushka, and then Heavy Conscript Spam, I'll win. But with those serious losses, the enemy has pretty much been pushed back. Oh, and looks like TK is now f opening fire on the enemy's base. Massive repair, a quick, uh, a nice quick repair, very, very nice. Recon planes up. Thank, uh, thank you, TK. Although he doesn't have any artillery ability of his own. That being said, he does have two artillery positions. Not firing at this, so don't know what they're looking at. Well, there goes the plane, so I assume something shot it down. I'm guessing the MG on this. Yeah, the 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 MG on the the tank shot down the aircraft. <laughs> Ask me why, I I have no idea. That being said, they may win it if they can just capture this point. I like how he has this, this thing here, I, that we can keep reinforcing his guys. That being said, my brother has a King Tiger. And if you... I will say this, and the King Tiger is awesome, because it's pretty much good against most things. Plus, it has armor that helps against, you know, bouncing. So you can hear a lot of infantry moving up. That was an awesome hit. Um, this is pretty much the last of their forces. Again, they're just last ditch assault just trying to take this point. M4C Sherman coming around. I feel like this is a bad move. 
Because while, yeah, sure, they can fight the Panzer IV, I don't think a flank would be necessarily all that effective. Plus, I love my brother's Panzer Strike forces. They literally have the high ground. Like, that is a beautiful shot of just troops up behind. This guy should probably move over here. Oh, he is. There he goes. Nice Panzer Strike shot neutralizing that point. AT gun um, hit over here. Or AT bombing run, I should say. That being said, most of the infantry did die. So. It's a dead even fight. And now this guy is nothing. So honestly, at this point, even though my brother and TK have no points, the enemy has no men. So if they can if they can stop this guy from capping it, they win the game. They think that. Makes sense. Oh, the M4C Sherman moving in, trying to knock out that King Tiger. Again, very close. If he really wanted to, he'd probably maybe circle around. Or, I don't know, do something else. But they did cap it. So, a nice shot killing that M4C. Nice artillery ability. Grand, um, pins, uh, the Stern Pioneers moving in. Capturing the point. An awesome AT hit from the side, I believe. I assume you have that artillery. And we can see here that they stopped the point at they stopped the counter at two points, ladies and gentlemen, two points. And I feel like this is a valuable lesson of why you do not conscript spam. And why you don't literally send them in in a single direction. I feel like my brother and TK have done a really awesome job. Like look at this, 30 and 25 kills. I can guarantee you, all conscripts. <laughs> all conscripts. But anyway, as I was saying, I find it very interesting that, again, they were able to adapt while Kenji and Wafru truly believe that their spam strategy worked, and it was. But my brother countered with his king and better equipped infantry and support guns. Tank killer countered by having Panzer IVs, which are great against infantry, um, and just overall better, um, I guess, support weapons. You can see here the MG was crucial. The AT gun that was there was kind of pretty crucial. Now it looks like we can see that TK is trying to mass produce quote unquote uh, bunkers. That way he can have a present MG space and my brother's trying to kill this bridge. Um, wow, okay, you should probably could have got fuel out of that, but all well. And again, TK is at 411 fuel, but he's at pop cap, so you, agree, you can understand why he has that much. Compared to the enemy that has 300 and not even close to pop cap so yes he's low on manpower i understand that but why does he keep spending it on this half track i will never know because yeah sure he's slowly but surely increasing men i don't see it being all that effective and that being said when you have no army and conscripts are only 240 you can see here every minute he's popping out another conscript squad that being said my brother and them could probably go on the offensive but I can understand why they're being a little bit more conservative with their forces. Because they don't know they defeated the, this guy's army. Sure, TK gets in a recon plane, but he's kind of munition strap at the moment. And the forces they have right here are pretty effective. I do feel like this Katusha is maybe a little too close up for comfort. But that's me. Looks like my brother's trying to almost dump blowing up that bridge. Oh no, he's halfway. Like I said, I don't necessarily... Again... He, this isn't sit hard summer where it's only allowing one path. The enemy could easily come over this way. Um, even with this, they could easily send a tank through. Or just shoot it. Whatever. Looks like this guy's trying to send more men in, but he's constantly reinforcing with, well, half track. I'm assuming they're coordinated because of the fact they constantly do this. But yeah, we can see here, of course, the artillery coming in and stuff like that just not helping. Katusha firing. That being said, okay, this is weird. Why are you sending in your Katusha? I just don't know. I also find it look like the Katusha literally sank underneath the dirt. Look at look at that crater. You could fit a half track in that crater. Oh, that is an awesome shot of Panzer IV. But yeah, honestly, it's just a, a meat grinder. That's all it is. This is just a meat grinder of just them sending forces. They haven't changed that at all. 
my brother and TK are just constantly reinforcing. So before they say anything, which by the way they will, I I'm very I'm I am waiting for th this chat to come up because dear I, uh, maybe they did it with an update I'm not sure, but literally this chat was literally just like full going on with them complaining how the Germans are OP and that um, support guns are OP and artillery is uh, like that my artillery spamming and stuff like that and I'm just watching and laughing this entire time because all I saw and all I see is the enemy spamming. That being said, TK is taking the fight to them and just hitting them with artillery. Kenji has not even made a base through this entire game. He is solely relied on conscripts. That is it. That is everything. And that's the sad part. That being said, this artillery is doing a fantastic job. Again, every upgrade it gets, um, the first one is just uh, counter barrage. The second one is more, yeah, show accuracy and rate of fire. And the third one is improve max range. So, yeah, so these things will consistently fire upon enemy positions. And, yeah, they have a really, really awesome range when eventually upgraded to 3-star. If you can get them upgraded to 3-star, like, this may be a tactic. I don't know if this is truly effective, but you place some of them in your own base. You upgrade them with the Elite Troops Doctrine. And get them to three star, and then you automatically have artillery that's hitting the enemy base. Like literally, I had artillery from the enemy base hitting the enemy's, uh, hitting my my base on the end, uh, the end forest. So yeah, we can see here a lot of artillery coming down, hitting this guy's key positions. It looks like he finally off through again. He finally got that again with go with the Katusha, but again he poorly operated that Katusha. I feel like he just sent in there hoping that he could take a shot while they decapped, but that's so stupid. You want to have it so we move back and cons consistently firing. So this is what I mean by um, we're just gonna wait because honestly, there's not much gonna happen. Okay. It's essentially most of the time it's them chatting about how my brother is saying again they're spamming, and then of course. How, of course, they're not. And it's just ridiculous. It's like, don't get me wrong. I, whoa, that was an awesome bomb. That kind of hit my camera for a second, but okay. But it's like, you can't stay... Like, you cannot defend yourself about you... Like, again, Germans being OP and stuff like that. When you're literally being the the thing that everyone hates most in CH2. Where it's super blobs. Or massive blobs. And that's exactly what you're doing. Love all the artillery coming in. That's great. It's so... There's enough artillery. It's hurting the m 4 Sherman. And by the way, dude. Your low M4C, not going to hurt a king. It may get a nice shot or two, but it's not going to... It will not go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this tiger. Which looks beautiful with the surrounding explosions. I love the bodies flopping. That's great. So we got another Sherman, Wafuru, but as I stated, <laughs> this guy's having issues He's trying to keep his base alive. Why do you even make that when you're not even using it? I I don't even know. Really surprised I'm not seeing chat. I'm I guess that's a glitch or something. I like how we see chat sometimes, but not others. Whatever. Anyway, we see here TK just arting their position, which is really, really smart. My bro I love my brother. He's like, I'm just going to make sure they don't cap this point. And like I said here, you can see the MG hitting the plane in the sky. Where's the plane? Wow, that plane's really high up. I can't see it. Alright, whatever. I mean, usually you can spot the recon plane, but... I'm really surprised I can't. Although I definitely spot it when it comes down. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so like I said... 
this guy is like, is like, how is that possible? Well, my brother has three support guns and TK has two pieces of artillery. Three star, by the way, with nearly 48, was it 45? 48 and 43. Yeah. And the support guns have what? 45, 14, and 35. All those are conscripts. Now before you say, oh, gray shot. Oh, there's no way to counter that artillery spam. Their artillery is right here. Literally all you need is Katusha's right here, and I swear they're in range. And then it's one, one, two Katusha's, which he had and can make, would easily kill all that. And before you say, oh, gray shot, how is he supposed to counter this? Well, it's very simple. He, instead of consistently losing his men, they could have actually kept their army and not sacrificed it. Maybe attack my brother over here and over here and cause more issues. Okay, here, yeah, here's the chat. This is just great. I really hope you guys enjoy this. I like how they're complaining about Artie, and then, of course, they sacrificed their Katusha. But you think the carcass... Yep, there's the carcass. It's right there. Um, yeah, they sacrificed it, so I don't know why they're complaining. And if they really want to go in Artillery Doctrine, the the howitzer on the, um, on the Soviet side, uh, not the 203, the 152, just as good, in my opinion. You can... E I mean, sure, you can't rank it up with elite troops, but that being said, this guy doesn't have elite troops. Plane's going down somewhere. Oh, that was epic. Almost right on them. Every game, German tactics pick one. The German late game is artillery always. If if you do this strategy with every single game, and, you ex and you're surprised when enemies like, Jesus Christ, this guy's blobbing. You know what? Artillery. That will get him. And you start losing every single game because of that artillery. I don't feel bad for you. I don't. But as you can see, they are getting back their men. And my brother and them have been trying to push over here. But as you saw, they ha they are being very conservative. And they want to make sure they hold this point at all costs. I also like how my brother put down a medical thing. You can see here they can put down uh, medical supplies. I feel like a lot of stern pioneers don't have access to this because they die pretty quickly. But yeah, you do have access to it. Also stun grenades, which I never use. Because I ne almost never get it up to rank uh, vet 3. We have no options but infantry tactics. You have 500 fuel. I could see an army of T-34s, M4 sheets, Shermans, anything else. But you're sending an M piecemeal. Like, you could send an army down this way, attack. When my brother has to retreat his King Tiger because of the idea of the base destroying, you then send up your infantry and take the point. There's so many different ways if you, you could honestly, you, you could truly think of do, using it and uh, taking advantage. But if you want to spam infantry, which is what you're doing, this is spam, then you are not a good company for a suit player. You're just not. Like, this is not good. I, I, I like, oh my god, like, look at the light show. That was awesome. But yeah, it's like if you are quote unquote surprised. I also like how both bases are so close to dying. If, wow, okay, spam AT guns. Okay, that's something smart. My, again, very good point. We're going to fast forward a little bit. There's no OP. There's no you cheated. No brainer faction. Spamming infantry is a no brainer. I also like how now of course it can be seen by recon. But again TK is kind of focusing on the arty. And I, lo I love this. My brother's like hey you want to learn? Go check out Grayshot Productions. And if you guys are wondering hey where's the Vermont one? That kind of got the, in the OKW how to videos. That got delayed just simply because of the fact, well, I'm busy with law school, and when I have time, I have time. When I don't have time, I don't have time. When there's a thing called a judicial opinion due, I don't have time. <laughs> but don't worry, guys. This guy's going to show that his blob is, of course, going to beat that German. Churchill's a pea shooter. BS. BS. Churchill's have fantastic guns they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with panthers so don't even 
Yeah, but rushing doesn't work forever. Dude, you could have... You should realize the half track and infantry weren't working after the 15th try. Yeah, that's a good point. Very true. You do know that you can have superior units too. Like, if you're, if you're saying a King Tiger superior, just have a bunch of tanks, like, own this way, flank around it. King Tiger is one tank. You have a bunch of T-34s. It can kill a King Tiger. It's just if you choose to go head on, apply directly to the Tiger, yeah, it's not going to work. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see their final assault, which is, of course, that. And my brother's like, okay, we're just going to run over him. Stern Pioneer's trying to hold. King Tiger's trying to hold back against all these conscript artillery coming in. Again, TK called in a light artillery barrage as well. I really don't know what to say right now. Uh, they swarm in their injury counter. Sherman comes in from the same direction. King Tiger still alive, bouncing off around. Nice shot off it. AT gun not doing anything. And once again, there goes most of their men. If not, yeah, that's everything. They kill this, they wipe off. Superior everything e equals easy win. <laughs> and that's how my opinion is of this. I feel bad for the Soviet forces that died here. Because it's they literally just charged. This is like Stalingrad. This is like every single movie I watch off Stalingrad with them just rushing at German fortified positions. And it's like there's no point. This is what happened. This is sad. <laughs> This is what everyone fe like hates in Company of Heroes 2, but rarely ever, rarely do you ever actually face something this bad. Like, there's so much, there's, look at that crater. You don't have to worry about burying the bodies, my god. But anyway, just to show you the extent of their losses, Kenji got 33,000, Wafaru got 14, uh, Tank Killer got 40,000, my brother got 32. Look how many units got killed. 340. 247. They killed 55 and 99. In perspective, my brother's best unit was the Volks. 61 kills, not bad. Not even the King, just the normal unit. Superior unit, yeah, right. And the t Tank Killer. 10,000 damage, 136 kills with his artillery. Now, of course, let's see how many conscripts they produced. 24. There are six men per conscript squad, correct? And they lost all of them. Meaning, that guy lost a hundred... Oh god, is that right? 144? I would assume. Yeah, 144 units. So... Yeah. Um... Not trying to be mean, but... You guys suck. Yeah, the fact, I mean, the fact you made that many in the first place is just insane to me. That's like, cr that is crazy to have that many men and then you lose that many men and not changing your strategy. That's the thing that is just so annoying is the fact you guys didn't do anything different. Yeah, sure. It's like, oh my God, you finally got mortars and AT guns. Well, is that even a German? Is that German? No, that's, uh, anyway, it's like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because you you didn't change your strategy until you were literally forced to. And you st and it's st you'd even use it properly. You want to use the AT gun right? AT gun's this way. Or better yet, one here. But no. Let's come around this freaking corner for the 15th time and come down this hallway. And then get annihilated by the King Tiger. Because guess what? The King Tiger's gun? Fantastic against infantry. Just, in, just great. But anyway, um, that's n how not to play Company Heroes 2. 
um, with the Soviet meat grinder tactic. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you guys for sending in your replays. And if you have a replay, of course, you can send that in either my Facebook or my YouTube channel via my email. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.